Ethan, I have an important question. Uh oh. Biggie or Tupac? Biggie. Pizza or tacos? Tacos. It's raining tacos. Nitro or electric? Electric. How dare you? Today we are going to find out. We're here at the ranch, the Never Pants Ranch, and we brought out two Traxxas slashes. What's the pearl of slash? Slash I? Slashy? Slashes? Uh, I anyway, like slash eye. I like slash eye. That works. We are going to run both of them and find out which is better. Uh, this video has actually been a long time coming. I bought a nitro slash what? over a year ago and it never ran. Never freaking ran. So last night we completely disassembled the whole engine, rebuilt the thing. Didn't really break it in, but you know, it's gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that right now. You know what I learned last night. I think 10 scale garage might put Traxxas together better than Traxxas. The Slaxus trash? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I approve. Probably accurate. Anyway, let's get it. It's time for everyone's favorite game. Will, Will it start? start? Uh, not, yeah, exactly. We, uh, of course, as always, we tested it on the bench and it fired right up. Huh? Oh, it's back. We've got, we've got lightage on the transmitter. Oh, there we go. Mark. Yeah, dude. Stick it in. Yes. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It ain't even warm, dude. That's a cold start, that, brother. That's a good sign. Uh, again, not broken in, but you know, eh. we ran like half a tank through it at idle. That's got to be good enough, unless it's not. So we tried to make them kind of evenly matched. They are both two-wheel drive. Obviously, you know, you don't have brakes in the front. You get rear braking only. Good for you know, this kind of this kind of stuff. Uh, the slash is actually the sla the electric slash is actually running on 2s and I pulled out all of the Traxxas electronics because Traxxas uh, the nitro slash is still completely stock they both have uh, stability control you know it's the same ish chassis the the two-wheel drive slash has a low center of gravity chassis and obviously the nitro has the nitro chassis which is also kind of low center of gravity so they should be as evenly matched as two slashes one electric one nitro can be uh you know science And what happened? Oh, pipe popped off. Uh, Running a little hard. Ooh, she won. 
Should we uh, let that heat cycle? Maybe. Okay. You know, two wheel drive problems. I would have loved to bring the four wheel drive slash, but that one is in the Fast and Furious shop truck. Yeah. I just don't want to convert it back because it's so cool it's so looking. Cool. I haven't yeah. driven it. We have not driven that thing since we built it, uh, but it looks really cool sitting on the shelf. And I think that's a good place for it. Yeah, sad, like we almost need to build another slash. Ugh. It would be cool to do like every slash, like 16th scale slash, four wheel drive, brushed, brushless. And kind of, run of them. yeah, and then the UDR. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look who it is. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, that is empty, empty, empty. We got quite a few lamps with it though. Uh, didn't have enough fuel to get some really cool, uh, some really cool static. Uh, swooping slow-mo shots of it but uh, hopefully the um, hopefully the 360 footage from the outcast looks pretty cool uh, I really enjoy driving this thing I think Ethan is completely over it yeah I'm not a nitro fan two-wheel drive it's rough especially on you know a surface like this where it's really really loose lots of gears on nitros lots of uh, opportunities for things to go where they shouldn't on the road uh two-wheel drive nitro is super duper fun like the jado like the rustler a lot of fun out here oh it's it's one it's really rough on them and two they're pretty they're pretty difficult to control i mean i know that we have like tsm <laughs> Stability management. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We put a bit of a hurting on her, huh? But even still, it's pretty, it's pretty difficult. So how fast are they? Well, we've got a 2S battery in the uh, electric slash. Um, and I predict maybe, I don't know, somewhere around 30 mile an hour. We could also put a 3S in it uh, and really get this thing cracking. Stock gearing, but remember it has a different motor and ESC in it, and it has a low center of gravity chassis, so that should help keep it a little more planted, keep it from just lifting off. Well, I don't know, see what, do you what think? the speed differences really are between the two, and if it's that bad, yeah, we'll throw a 3S in it and yeah, give her the beans. For sure. What do you think? Predictions? Mm. I'm gonna say 33. I was gonna say 32. All right. So. All right. We'll go with it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, dude. Record. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Not a lot. Skirt. Oof. 26. 26? Yeah. I bet the nitro's got way more in it. Oh, yeah. All right. 3S. Now we should do better than 20, what was it, 26? <laughs> All right, we were at zero. Ooh, wheelie too. You ready? Oh yeah. Whoa, through the stones. Oh yeah, way faster. <laughs> Skirt. Oh. I'm gonna say 39. Ooh, three wheel. Survey says 39. Nice. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Right on the money. Right on the money. Yeah, not bad, Can you dude. Speak 40 out of it, you think? Oh, there's only one way to find out. Survey says 39. 39 still. Well, it rips on three F. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. This is a cold start. Should we, uh, oh, here, I'll hold the exhaust. Turn it on. Yo, you ready? Yeah. There it is. There it is. That easy. Let's do a speed ride. Dang, it sounds so cool.
that's a good place to end it before we break it. So, Ethan, have I sold you on the Nitro Life? Oof, not yet. Not yet. What do you think it would take? What What still hasn't put you over the edge like, okay, I need that in my life? The maintenance. The... I mean, let's be honest, this thing wasn't perfect either. It, That's true. You had to damn near rebuild it. That's true. After a year and a half of us not being able to get it run and figure it out, I don't know. I'm not sold. It runs like a dream now, It does. Though. I won't lie. It, it does run good. So let's break it down, all right? Let's compare it like for like. Price. All right, you can get into a slash, just like a basic slash for 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. The cheapest Nitro Slash is 350 bucks. But keep in mind, you know, if you want a brush, if you want a brushless slash with stability control, all that good stuff, set up how this one is, they are they're, exactly yeah, the yeah, same. They're the same price. They're 350 bucks versus 350 bucks. Uh, modifications. It's way easier to modify an electric slash than a Nitro Slash. There are a ton of aftermarket parts for this thing. There's a lot of aftermarket parts for this as well, yeah. but I mean, you could literally build a slash out of aftermarket parts if you wanted to. Uh, whereas the Nitro Slash, uh, I'm not so sure. Speed, top speed, I'm actually a little surprised. I thought this on 3S was gonna wipe the floor with it, but 50 mile an hour, the actual speed that they claim on the box. Yeah, that how was often does surprising. That, happen? that was really surprising. And how about driving? Two wheel drive slashes, two wheel drive RCs are a little tricky, you know, because you only have back brakes, obviously. The stability control on Traxxas, you know, the TSM that helps quite a bit, but uh, around the track, these things were pretty tricky to. It really was. It was. I don't know how to drive one of these on the track. I. I don't. I've driven so many different electric things on the track. I know how they're going to run. I know kind of how they're going to work. That was very unpredictable. You, yeah. You're not always in the power band. You yeah. Gotta, you, you don't always know where you're at. And honestly, when we're not playing and it was across the field, you can't really hear it either. Mm -hmm. So you don't exactly know where it's at. It was tricky, and I just found myself spinning it out more and having a hard time. Yeah, the, keeping it going in a straight line. The speed isn't very linear, you know, like you can pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, and not much is happening other than noise, and then suddenly, boom, it just takes off and it's, runs. Whiskey throttles are a really good way to describe how yeah. that drives. Yeah. It, yeah, it, with some more practice, I think it could have been a lot better. For but sure. For just going into it and trying to run it, yeah, it's like when you see those guys Superman themselves off the back of a two stroke dirt bike. It's, <laughs> Once it's in the power band, it's just all over the place, and you don't you don't have a lot of control over it. But that was no offense to Tex, that was probably the worst example of a track to try and race two yeah two not of them a, against one another. It not was a really good track at all. Yeah, fun play track, but to actually try and race them, that was not a good example. Uh, cool factor is always going to be nitro for me. You know, there is a certain amount of there is a certain amount of like sound smell yeah sight. it's more yes. engaging to the senses it's more exciting to drive uh the unpredictability is kind of you know what i like about it a little bit it might not run it might explode at any moment you just yep. don't know uh but yeah it's fun they do require a lot of maintenance but you know if you're a tinkerer like i am you know i like to wrench on my stuff almost as much as i like to actually drive them it doesn't bother me i kind of like it it's super fun one of these days we're going to get Ethan the Nitro. Oh, I'll get one. I'm just, Jada. it's not, yeah, I do kind of, if I was going to get one, it's probably going to be the J. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. Are you Team Electric or are you Team Nitro all the way? And think about it. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to tracks really and slashes. Is. Like, we could get a 16 scale. We could get a 4x4. Four four, we could get the Slayer Pro. We could get... The mother of all ultimate edition <laughs> slashes. We can get all of them and look at all of them compared next to each other. If that's something you want to see, let me know down below. And if this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found it. We like to do RC shenanigans like this all, all the, time. the time. But we've got some wicked stuff coming up. We're going to want to stick around. All right, guys, until next time.
chopping electrics chopping, out chopping, here. Chopping two strokes out here. Oh!